Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my AC Milan career mode. Today, we have six games remaining, just six matches, and then it's the end of the season, and who knows where we're going to be right now in the league. It's pretty crazy. I, again, blowed my chance to be top of the league. I drew with Empoli, which was just a terrible result in the scheme of things because Juventus and Roma have now gone clear by three points, and I need to win to keep up with them. It's pretty stressful right now, I'm not going to lie. And one of my games in the next three is Roma. So <laughs> I ju I'm just going to get into this game against Crotone. I need to get a win here. And then it's the game against Roma, which is huge. So let's jump into the first game of the episode. Where I am mentally right now is I think I'm going to beat Roma. I think I will beat them. I've already beaten them quite a few times this season. We obviously progressed into the Italian Cup final against them, beating them 2-0 on aggregate. Was it 3-0? No, I'm pretty sure it was 2-0 on aggregate. So I feel like it's games like this, where it's against a team, you know, like uh, Crotone, they're in the bottom three, that that's where I could have my issues. So imagine losing this game, for example, and then beating Roma. You know, that that's pretty much how I think things will go. So I really need to stay focused in games like this because I'm confident against Roma, but for some reason, these kind of games, they can be real bogey games. What I need, guys, is an early goal, just to settle the nerves a little bit. Here is Kessie to Nzonzi, over here to Baka, out here for Suso. Could be in here. Go with his left foot. He's still got it. Ah, he's cleared it. Just feel like recently I haven't been able to score in the first kind of 20 minutes or so. And if there has been a goal early on, it's been the other team that I'm playing. So can't afford to concede early in this game, that's for sure. We'll give that to Bonaventura. Now into Keita. Turn and flick it through, maybe. Nzonzi's got it back, but again... Last second tackle. Here is Bonaventura over to Keita. This is where he's so good, just running at the defence. Put it through for Kessie, maybe. Oh, someone got a touch on it, but Kessie has it now. Oh, it's a good ball for Bonaventura, but the, oh, the interception. Amazing defending. So far, it's been all me, but all of a sudden, oh, they're starting to warm up a little bit. They're going to get a shot away here. Big save from Donnarumma. God, imagine if that went in. And there is half time. Wow, this game has not gone to plan so far. I've got 45 minutes to score a goal. I think I can do it, but right now, it's not looking good. I have actually had 65% possession. Like, I've been dominating this game. But as usual, I've not been able to score. I've managed to keep that in, though. That could be good. Here's Keita. Try and whip in a cross. Kessie's there, but it's going to get punched out to Nzonzi. A try a long shot, maybe. Oh, man, it's just another... Silly shot. Maybe I shouldn't bother with long shots unless it's Kessie, basically. Kessie does score them. Good tackle. Yes, Kessie. That's what we needed. Put it through for Keita now. Okay, Suso's making his run. What do I do, though? Do I go alone? I think I have to. Just hit it. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, it's so close. The sweaty option just didn't seem to appear for me. So we'll get the corner instead. It's not a very good delivery, but Keita's got it. Uh, I think that's another corner. Surely it is. Yeah, it's taken a deflection. All right, we'll go again. This is good pressure. The goal will come eventually. Here we go. Masaccio. Oh, it's off the line. This this is a cruel game. This really is very cruel. Okay, here we go. I'm going to score here. I'm going to score. Come on. Here's Baka. I'm going to hit it. Oh, it's a big save. Okay, 15 minutes to go. I'm genuinely a little bit nervous about this, guys. I can't afford to lose this game if I want to win. if I want to win the league. You know, it's as simple as that. And it's come out to Rodriguez. Out to Cater again. Try a bit of skill. I'm just going to run out the defence here a little bit. This is good. Drive it into the box. And it's blocked. Damn it. Surely this time. Surely. Put it through. Okay, backers in here. Across goal. Blocked. Still got it though. Come on. Kessie's in. And he scores. Yes, Kessie. Come on. Come on, Kessie. Oh, that is such a relief, guys. Four minutes to go. I get the shot away with backer, which gets... Blocked and then it falls for Kessie and what a finish by the way if that had hit the post and come back out I would have cried five goals in the league for Kessie what a signing He's brilliant. He really is fantastic and that should be three points a big three points Just blow the whistle ref. There's just no point playing, please. Yes, there we go Oh, that was a stressful game, but a win is a win and now we go into the big one Roma looks like we're actually gonna get some training done before the game Okay, that's cool. Donnarumma has gone up to 84. Nerez has gone up to 79 as well. We're very close to uh, getting to 80 with Locatelli, which is great news. He's done pretty well there, actually. That should get him about halfway. Over halfway, actually. And Nerez, very close to 80. 
two of my young players doing exceedingly well. What? My manager rating just went down to 85. I was 90 at the start of this episode. It's just... It's so broken, isn't it? It really is. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Let's get into the game against Roma. At the moment, we're three points off Juventus with a game in hand. And it's the same for Roma. So whoever wins this game, I think will be the only team to really fight for that first place with Juventus. The best bit of news we could have got has happened. And that is we do have Andre Silva back in the team, back from his injury. He was only out for three weeks. So it wasn't a massive you know, length of time in the medical room, but it's good. He's back. He's ready to go. This is his first game since getting injured, and he was in some great form. I hope he continues that today. We have gone with my 4-3-3, my first team lineup. All of my best players are fit and ready to go, but Roma have made a good start here. Oh, that's going to be a corner, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a corner. By the way, I really don't like it. The, uh, the pitch is just way too overshadowed, isn't it? It's very difficult to see what's going on. Oh no, get it out. Thank you, Suso. He hooks it away. And Andre Silva just about clears that one up. And now here is Suso. Keep going here. Just going to keep running into Andre Silva. Put it over the top for Keita. What a ball that is. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. Come on. Get it into the box now. What a ball. Oh, Andre Silva. If only he went with his left foot there. I'm pretty sure he should have. It's come into him very quickly, but he's gone with his right foot. Yeah, if he, hit, if he hits it with his left, he can just kind of get some curl on it and whip it into the near post. But, oh, that's a shame. Here is Forsberg. 35 million euro signing. Hasn't done very well at all there against Kessie. And now we can get up on this right side with Suso. Onto that left foot, of course. Through for Andre Silva. What a ball that is. Come on. Hit it across goal. Oh, my God. Manolas, what a tackle. He even kept it in. That is what you get with a really, really strong, quick defender. And now here come Roma. Oh, it's too easy for them. Donnarumma, though, he cannot be beaten that easily. And now Roma have a corner. They haven't gone with Totti in this match. They've gone with Dzeko, I believe, up front. And, oh, shit, I've given it away. I thought I was through there. Here's Perez. He's going to go for the shot. Donnarumma saves it again. This will be our last chance. Come on, before half time, it would be perfect timing to score. Andre Silva going on a little run, but they do win it back. And I think that's going to be it, isn't it? Very, very tight game so far. Very even. But uh, I would say we've probably had the better chances so far. And maybe could have scored a couple of goals. I've decided to keep things as they are. No changes in this second half. Now here is Keita up against Rudiger. He's done well. He's won that battle. Now here's Rodriguez over to Nzonzi. Over to Ferenzi. Go on, score against your old club again. That would have been amazing. It's going to be a corner instead. I think uh, Forsberg got a deflection on that. Let's get the corner in. That's a good delivery. And Zonzi's there, but De Rossi heads it back. And it's going to be another corner. How many corners have we had now? That might be our fourth or fifth corner. Someone's pushed me, pushed me in the box there, which meant I couldn't get the header on it. That's a bit annoying. Oh, no. Oh, my God, that defending. Oh, no. Is he offside? No, he's he's not. That defending against Salah was world class there, guys. Absolutely phenomenal defending. How, how have I let that happen? Against the run of play as well. We have been doing very well. Oh, that is embarrassing. That is so bad. And Dzeko, probably the easiest goal he's ever going to score. And we are 1-0 down. And I was saying at the start of the last game how I was feeling confident about this match. And that actually I was more worried about playing against the other teams. But... Instead, I just look like an absolute idiot now. There is still lots of time. Just need to focus. Get that goal. That's all I need. And there we go. Suso's in here. Hits it across goal. And there it is. Come on. Right away, we're back in the game. 20 minutes left. There is plenty of time to score. But of course, there is a lot of time to concede as well. Just need to be really focused. And it's Suso's right foot. He scored with his right foot. That is absolutely unbelievable. Six goals so far for him in the league. Right, come on then. 20 minutes and I've just got to go for it. Oh, this is good. This is good. I've got a good feeling about this. Come on, Keita. Good ball in from Zonzi. That's a penalty. No! Did he get the ball? He must have touched the ball when he made that tackle, but he's only just got up. I think Zonzi may have been fouled there. I, I don't know if I was owed a penalty or not, but I think that could be... The last chance we're going to have, unless I win the ball here. Nope, Forsberg, he's done very well today, especially in this second half. I just can't defend when they're running at me like this. Look at that, he's going through me so easily. 
No. Oh, thank God. I thought for a second I gave away a penalty and instead it's the final whistle. <laughs> that was absolutely horrifying at the end there. But it's a one-all draw, guys. That does mean we are going to be level on points with Roma still. And it looks like... I think there were some celebrations going on there. Have we confirmed a top three finish? I think we may have. I don't know what that celebration was about. There is still a possibility with nine points remaining for each team that Inter Milan could overtake us and Roma. So that that doesn't make sense at all. Unless, you know, it, maybe the celebration was a guaranteed top four spot. Maybe in the game the coding is for, you know, top four, even though in Italy... Uh, obviously, it's top three for the Champions League. I don't know. But either way, it is still mathematically possible for us to drop down into fourth place. But we have to lose every game and Inter have to win every game, which I don't think is going to happen. So let's jump into our next game. Anything other than a win, I think, could be game over and we will not be winning the league. We are playing against Atalanta, a very decent team. They've got some uh, very difficult players to play against. Gomez being one of them. There he is. I'm using my strongest team. I cannot afford to drop points. Like I said, I have to win this match if I've got any chance of finishing in first place in the league. But to be fair, guys, a draw here would give me top three and I would be happy because that's my objective. I just need to get top three and I'm pretty much guaranteed that. So whatever happens, I'm still very pleased with our first season in the league. It's as simple as that. But of course, if I've still got the opportunity to win the, the league, you know, and win some, some silverware, I'm going to go ahead and try and do it. And we might be in here. Bonaventura has somehow wiggled his way through, and that's a pen. How did he get through those challenges? I have no idea. Is it going to be a yellow card? No, he's just going to get a warning from the referee. So we have a chance here to score in the first 10 minutes. I, st I still don't know how Bonaventura managed to get through that, but GG. Very good indeed. Andre Silva, I'm going to go with a Penenka. Why not? Let's enjoy ourselves. Yes, it has gone in. Oh, that would have been a horrible way to backfire. <laughs> Avoiding going 1-0 up in 10 minutes by doing a stupid Penenka right down the keeper's throat. But actually, he has dived to his right side and that is 1-0. Here is Cater down the left. Just use that pace. You can just abuse his pace so much and his power, his strength. I mean... Out of nothing, I've got myself a corner. It wasn't quite what I wanted, but still, we'll go ahead and take it. Suso has a great delivery on him. That's a good one for Nzonzi. He wins it, and it is cleared. I think the keeper would have caught it anyway. Now, here's Kessie. We know what his long shots are like. Can I maybe get one out? No, I can't. He's been tackled. Luckily, not injured, though. For a second, I thought he was going to be injured. Oh, I had a heart attack almost. Luckily, it's not one of my players injured. It's one of the Atalanta players. Here's Cater again. He gets a lot of the ball, doesn't he, in this setup? And he's given it to Andre Silva. And oh, wow, I've missed it from there. And there is the end of the first half. Really should be winning this game comfortably. But instead, it's nil. No, it's 1 0 because of the penalty. I almost forgot we had a penalty there. Okay, second half. We need to go big and score more. I feel like I am going to score again. I feel like maybe it's going to be very soon as well. Here's Suso. Inside to Andre Silva. Back into Suso. Surely that's a goal. What? How have I missed from there? Come on, team. Some of my finishing... You know what? I, I, I can't blame the team. It's me. I'm the one holding the controller, and I'm the one missing these easy chances. Go for NZ. Nice run. I'm going to go for a cross for Kessie. He's on his own. Oh, the keeper's managed to get it. I thought he was going to miss it. Andre Silva wins it. And somehow, again, I haven't scored. This is a joke. I just... <laughs> What more can I do? I mean, it's going it's going in. It's as simple as that. We get a corner, I guess. There is a silver lining. But once again, it's just... I don't score from corners. I just don't. What? You're telling me I score from that? <laughs> I just... I hit the ball as hard as I could into the area. Look. And just hoped. Somehow... I, uh, I'm speechless. I, I have all of these chances where you'd, you'd expect me to score. And then I score something like that. Well, it's just a joke, really, isn't it? Oh, you're kidding me. I've lost it. Right on the edge of the box. That's right. I've got it back again. Yes, Bonaventura. Well done. Probably a couple of seconds left of this game. Do we have time for one more chance? Put it through for Suso. He's a little bit tired, but he's still going here. Get it in for Andre Silva. Surely. Ah, oh, do you know what? I tapped. I tapped shoot. 
it's just it's so inconsistent this game when it comes to finishing for me at least but regardless we get the win that's all that matters let's have a look at the league table now fingers crossed Juventus have lost their game please 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 Juventus just have a shocker just lose two or three nil that would be absolutely fantastic because even goal difference could be a massive thing at the end of the season no they haven't Ah oh, man okay but the real good news is we are three points clear of Roma it looks like we will be finishing in second place I mean it would still be a good result two games to go in the league we of course have Bologna and uh, Cagliari and then we have the Milan derby in the Italian cup final but that's three games down today and I tell you what I'm very pleased it could have done it could have gone a bit better but it could have gone a lot worse I will take second place right now two points off Juventus if only we had a game against Juventus that would have been absolute perfect timing but for now guys Thank you for watching this episode. If you have enjoyed it, leave a like rating and I will see you in the next one very soon to wrap up season one.